Well, we told you last night about two new dog viruses. It's really changed how things are working at Hillsborough Animal Services. No more adoptions, no more strays can be dropped off, and now there is a ripple effect. Fox 13's Kristen Wright is here to explain what's going on. Kristen? Well, Kelly, Animal Services is the only shelter for strays in Hillsborough County. But the shelter says suspending its main services is the only way to control these viruses. But some say they think they should rethink that. Marilyn and Bill's three-month-old puppy Mackenzie gets her next round of vaccines Thursday. But news of two new viruses infecting dogs has them worried. I want to make sure that she's not susceptible to this virus. And if she is, what can we do to prevent it? There are no vaccines for either virus, which have infected several dogs at Hillsboro Animal Services. To keep it from spreading, the shelter announced sweeping temporary changes. All 232 dogs dogs are quarantined. No dogs in. No dogs out for the next two weeks. If you have found a lost dog, you could help the shelter greatly by hanging on to that dog and posting flyers in your neighborhood. The Humane Society of Tampa Bay doesn't like the plan. I'm very concerned because we're getting the phone calls of what do I do because I found this stray dog running down the street. And people turn to us thinking we have extra cages to hold strays and we do not. The Humane Society doesn't house strays. They're an adoption agency. Typically, they would send any strays to animal services. And people are going to be forced to just leave them there on the street. I don't think that's a good alternative for those animals. And, and we remember these viruses are treatable, clearly. The coronavirus and the more serious pneumovirus are upper respiratory illnesses that infect dogs only. Vets at the Humane Society say dog owners like Marilyn and Bill shouldn't be alarmed. The viruses are mostly in shelters. You're in an environment where the air supply isn't as good. You know, we're not outside running around. And Dr. O'Malley put one concern to rest. She says neither virus thrives in dog parks. Now, Animal Services is taking in dogs that are sick, injured, or dangerous, but that's it. The Humane Society, meanwhile, hopes Animal Services will reevaluate the situation, Kelly. All right. Thank you, Kristen. John?